The second important group are the seafood companies, those companies that either manufacture and export or that import. Now, I know most companies are saying, yeah, but we're exempt, we're exempt, it doesn't really matter. Um, the fact is that uh, you're already not exempt. FDA already issued a regulation when they issued Harp C and the Standards of Produce Safety. They also issued a food compliance, um, G- a food GMP rule that already affects HACCP. And you can see our video on that in harpc.com, and please go have a look at it. But, but this FSVP program is going to also create a circumstance where FDA will not allow the seafood importers to continue to operate the way they have been. Now, if you're familiar with seafood HACCP, you know that there's an importer verification step. That step is far less rigorous, far less um, difficult to comply, apply, apply with than the foreign supplier verification program. From FDA's perspective, seafood is one of the high-risk foods. And even though it's true that the foreign supplier verification program does not cover seafood, and HACCP does, what will happen is that FDA will modify HACCP in order to cause the requirements to raise up and be equal, more connected, more directly related to the foreign supplier verification program. Now, people say, well, how could they do that? They weren't given the authority. FSVP is, is uh, the seafood companies are exempt from FSVP as long as you comply with HACCP, and that's all true. Well, the way they're going to do it is they're going to just modify the HACCP regs. Well, how could they do that if they, if they don't have the authority under FSVP to apply these same kinds of standards? Well, my response is, in my view, they didn't have the authority to do HACCP, and that didn't bother them the first time. It won't bother them the second time. So you should watch out. The seafood industry will, without doubt, be, be affected by the foreign supplier verification program or the requirements, the criteria that's built into that system. That will be one of the, one of the next steps FDA will take will be to change HACCP to cover that.